Thank you, Jesus. Give the Lord a big, big clap of praise. Amen. And now get ready with me. Something is breaking forth in your life this hour. Now, no one in this commission is permitted to sorrow and sigh. <laughs> Therefore, the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be upon their head. They shall obtain gladness and joy. And sorrow and money shall flee away. I saw an array of suffering humanity. I saw them file past before me, crying and groaning for rescue. And I said, Jesus, why, Lord? He said, but from the beginning it was not so. Lord, he said, and now the hour has come to liberate the world from all oppressions of the devil. And I'm sending you to undertake this task. So uh, for everyone under the sound of my voice around the world this hour, your sorrow and signs are over. Whosoever receives a prophet in the name of a prophet, he shall receive the prophet's reward. Now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the liberation mandate delivered to me must answer for you this hour. The liberation mandate delivered to me must answer in your life this hour. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every of your secret tears will be turned to public laughter. Every of your tears behind closed doors will be turned to public testimonies on the altar. In the name of Jesus Christ. And so shall it be. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please get seated. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet, a sea was he preserved. For surely the Lord God will do nothing except he revealed his secrets to his servant, the prophet. The prophetic office is not an achievement, it's an election of grace. It's an election of grace. It's not a result of spirituality. No, it's an election of grace. Jeremiah was separated from his mother's womb to be a prophet to the nation. So it can't be an accomplishment, it can't be an achievement. It's purely an election of grace. But among other things, prophets are custodians of God's agenda. He will do nothing but reveal it his secrets to his servants, the prophet. As far back as April 1982, the Lord unveiled some program will happening years after to me. He said it shall be a 
power ministry that will not have to debate over doctrines, but prove the power of God to the world. So we call it the home of signs and wonders. No debate. Only fools without proofs. He said, this ministry is not limited to this country, but to various nations of the earth. We have it today. It's at the base of this ministry, a tent shall be built that will seat 50,000 people. Now, we were 68 people in that meeting. How many were we? And they will build a tabernacle that will seat 50,000 people. Largest attendance in any meeting that time will be about, about 1,000. There's no way to get more, more than 1,000. When we hold the events, major events, it's 500. And see, the whole world came. Amen. Amen. And I saw wings fly, and I said, What is this? He said, These are aircrafts with you inside, bearing the everlasting gospel of, the, of Christ to the nations of the world. Aircraft, 50,000 seats of the tour. He said, The printing press of this ministry will operate at an industrial scale. He said, year after year, year after year, they came running in. The proof of a prophetic office is access to divine secrets. The Lord will do nothing but he revealed his secrets to his servant, the prophet. So I'm not coming to you this hour as a pastor. I'm coming to you as a prophet of God. And whatever I declare on your life, we turn to a testimony. Yeah. If you believe. For he that receiveth a prophet in the name of a prophet, he shall receive the prophet's words. No year has been named for the sake of naming it. Every year has been named with the name that the mouth of God named. So every year is ordained to deliver its content after its name. Therefore, no winner gets stranded this year. Every limitation on everyone's life under the sound of my voice today they are broken off. Yeah. 2020, a year to watch. A year to watch. It takes obedience to be a beneficiary of any divine agenda. Obedience. Obedience. You can't, you can't be a partaker a divine agenda without obedience. And it takes obedience to remain in command. So, without obedience, you can't be a partaker of any divine agenda. So, grace to walk in delight some obedience so every instruction that comes your way from heaven, receive it now. Yeah. One day the Lord said to me, we were about planting, starting our first church planting work in 1987. And he said, I said, why is Paul not coming in? He said, give me that car. He pointed my car to me. Joy went up. God, who knows the heart, knew that joy went up in my heart. I walked to my wife's office and I said, God just told me now he needs that car. I said, praise the Lord. The car was delivered on my way home. I heard God clearly say to me, my son, David, even if you don't want to be rich, it's too late. 
I mean, it was a sworn blessing. The life of obedience is what makes high flyers. God tells you what to do. And most of the time, he tells you alone. There is not somebody is around. You are doing your devotion. You are in prayers. He just tells you what to do. So you may pretend not to hear if you are not interested. Everything he said to Abraham, he said to him alone. So he doesn't have to be in charge. He tells you what to do. And can I tell you this? Knowing what to do is far more profitable than having your needs met. Why? Put you in command of your needs. Knowing what to do puts you in command of your needs. You have your needs met today, you come back again tomorrow where you are in need. But knowing what to do puts you in command of your needs in life. Knowing what to do. Knowing what to do. We must therefore continue to obey. To retain his blessings. And to remain in command of his lifting. Please. Know that. There shall be strange liftings this year. Yeah. But one fire is humility. What is it? God will never lift any man beyond his proven level of humility. Moses was said to be the meekest of all men on the face of the earth. Very meek above all men on the face of the earth. Numbers 12, 3. And Exodus 11, 3. And the man Moses was very great. Very meek. Very great. Very meek. Very great. Wherever God will take you to where you won't listen to him again, won't let you get there. He won't just, no matter how you pray, he won't take you there because it, it will destroy you. <laughs> it will. So, so, the meeker you are, the your destiny becomes, the higher you fly. There are some people today, if they ever assess a particular realm in business, that's the end of God. That's the end of God. So God is waiting on you. You are not waiting on him. His plan is in place, but you need to be properly positioned to realize it. Without humility, you have placed a limit on your life. Because God will resist the proud and he gives more grace to the humble. Jesus humbled himself unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore, God has also highly exalted him. My God. My God. So every lifting demands that to pass the humility test. What do I call it? There are some young people. They are just somewhere here. But you see the way they respond to things of God. You are too much for God. Just small, small, small fellows. It can be clothed with humility because God receives them. But he gives more grace to the humble. First Peter 5, 5 and 6. Be clothed with humility. Jesus said, come and learn of me. I am meek. So we need a testimony of meekness before the Lord. It is what defines the limits of our greatness in his agenda. A year to watch. The larger your heart for God, the larger your cost of blessings. The greater your dream for God and the interest of his kingdom, the larger your cost of blessings on the earth. Somebody say someday you worship Jesus with a hundred million dollars. Amen! Without playing games and uh, changing books and all that. Amen. 
claim blessing. Mark it. Somebody's here right now. It might be under the tent outside or in the open field and any nation of the world where it may be. That one day is coming in your life when you will sow a seed of a hundred million dollars at a goal. I say I'm sowing this to plant churches in Gambia, churches in Niger, churches in the That's the kind of dream that kept me flying. Every day. It takes a dream for God to enjoy a boom. It takes a dream for God to enjoy a boom in life. This prophet is saying today, there is no new generation truth. There is no old-fashioned truth. is eternal. Truth is constant. Take it or leave it. David said, and now, because of my affection for the house of my God, I have given all out of my private treasury. David the king has his private resources. And what he gave was far above what all the elders of Israel gave. Because of his heart for God. Now, because of where God is taking you, you need to keep humbling yourself every day because you are going up. You are going to heights never imagined if you let him take you there. If you let him take you there. A year to watch? Your year. It's your order of year. Every of your investment of time, energy, and resources in advancing the kingdom of God will return this year after the order of Isaac. The world powers we envy a number of people here this year. <laughs> Some ideas will hit you from heaven that will turn you to a major employer of labor. <laughs> when I was speaking those things, not everybody there thought I wasn't speaking out of my mind. They thought I was beside myself. Amen. A number of them are alive. But because they have thought it is impossible, because they have said it to quite some people, they can't draw near. It's one thing to hear it and not to be a beneficiary of it. I am saying to you today, just like Joseph had no identity until one day came. Now, some Joseph kind of one day will come the way of many people here this year. Now, listen to me. No one in the winner's family is permitted to be a failure. So, you never be mistaken for a failure all your life. Just to obey. One of my sons in Liberia, he read from the little wisdom diary on diligence. That living without working is dying without knowing. And went and bought a brush and polish and started polishing shoes. Then he gathered some money 
to do computer training, to engage in computer training, came out of that, opened a computer school, the heavens over him opened, and what a blessing he is today. What a blessing he is today. No one here is permitted to be a failure except he chooses to. Therefore, I cause the root of failure to maintain anyone here. Every generation across that has held some destinies bound, in the name of Jesus, the chains are broken. The chains are broken. The chains are broken. I stand here this morning to cause every agent of the devil mocking your destiny in Christ and I decree your rescue. How shall I cost what is not cost? And how shall I defy whom the Lord does not defy? <laughs> Anyone causing the blessed of the Lord comes under a cost. And serving God makes you a candidate for his blessing. Thou shalt serve and he shall bless. So anyone that is causing the blessed of the Lord gets cost in return. He said, and I will bless you and make thy name great. And I will cause him that causes you. Amen. Genesis 12, 3. I'll bless them that bless thee and cross him that causes thee. That causes thee. It's a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to everyone that troubles you. Amen. Second Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6. Therefore this morning, whatever forces won't let this year of breaking limits answer to you comes under a curse. When Jacob was proclaiming blessing on um, when Isaac was proclaiming blessing on Jacob, he said, Blessed is he that blesses thee, and cursed be he that cursed thee. Genesis 27, verse 29. So it is the will of God to molest everyone how to molest your life. Amen. So every gang up of hell against your glorious destiny and cry is cursed this morning. You will hear news. You will hear news. You will hear news. He sent me to stop your tears. So your tears are over. He sent me as his agent of restoration to restore your color is restored today. When this prophet was speaking, to this nation. Some spiritually ignorant people, hey, no, a prophet is not a preacher. He's a custodian of divine secret. Everything I say will happen to you is happening. Everything I say. Everything I say. I saw a troubled nation. Is a nation not troubled? politics. I'm about it for life. It's not my calling. I don't belong to that. Realm. I found light once on God's behalf. <laughs> Please listen to me. Everyone
word I proclaim on you today as his prophet, he will confirm it in your life. The good news is every limit you have struggled under over the years is turned to a testimony today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can I say this to you? You are not permitted to be barren in this commission. Because you belong to a liberation family. You cannot be banned. No medical reason under heaven has power to keep you barren. Therefore, to everyone under the sound of my voice around the world, I decree this year. For every marital destiny under siege, Some are married, they wish they were not married. Whatever represents a marital siege, some are due for marriage, some are even overdue for it. Whatever represents a marital siege on anyone's life and destiny is broken finally this morning. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. How shall we know the word with the Lord has not spoken? If a prophet speaks in the name of the Lord and things don't come to pass, he said, forget him. He has spoken presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. But when the prophet speaks in the name of the Lord and the things come to pass, you better pay attention. He's sent as your rescue agent. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, every prophetic word has gone ahead of you for the year 2020 shall deliver wholesale. They shall deliver wholesale. They shall deliver wholesale. Amen. One of my sons called me. His wife was captured by those uh, Fulani hatsmen or whatever they were. And called me at nine. I said, I give them two hours. Five minutes to two hours. Five. Please go. Please go. Please go. I didn't call them. We are not in the same group. No. If I cost you under this anointing, you are cost. No matter who you are, no matter who you are, no matter the backup of devils you may have. Yes, sir. Another one came here captured by ritual killers. And I said, in seven hours, she's out. Few minutes to seven hours. They were cutting themselves a piece of bad. They were cutting themselves. The head of the guy said, I don't want Bishop Hidekos' problem. Oh. The other said, no way. We won't let her go. So they started marketing themselves. Themselves. Not my daughter. <laughs> Every word spoken on your life today delivers to the letter. Yeah. You will sing a new song. Yeah. You will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. 
you will sing a new song. You will sing a new song. A man came up, came up and said he was impotent. And I said, in Jesus' name, you are free. Before you get to the gate of Canaan, you are loosed. He ran back on the way. Jesus loosed him on the spot. Now, for anyone called impotent under the sound of my voice, you are loosed right now. Every failing business is restored back to realm of breakthrough. Thank you, Father. You know, when somebody has a health problem, they find out whether his father had it, whether his mother had it, whether his uncle had it, they trace it. Now, just watch your commission. Watch this church. If you are going through anything that is not here, then it's illegal. You carry a liberation DNA in your system. So, whatever does not hold, is not permitted to hold in your life. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, the same order of triumph of this commission becomes your order of triumph. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Son of God. While I decree the liberation of Nigeria this morning, This country is liberated from confusion. Yeah. Liberated from misdirection. Yeah. Liberated from satanic manipulation. Yeah. Liberated from corruption at the highest order. Yeah. Anyone that won't let this nation go, goes down today. gang up of devils that won't let nation, this nation no progress goes down for this nation today. Thank you, Jesus. You know, because I'm a kingdom stakeholder, when I make decrees, heaven sanctioned it. Yes, sir. Nigeria is free. Amen. Nigeria is free. The captors of Nigeria come under judgment. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now, let me tell you something that will be a plus to your life for life. Every prophet of God is sent as a father to whomsoever they are sent. That is how to maximize the ministry of prophets. Elisha, the son of Shapha, said to Elijah, My father, my father. That's spiritual father. Yes. The king of Israel said to Elisha, My father, my father, shall I smite him? Second Kings chapter 2 and um, 6 verse 21. That's the king of Israel. You can't share the DNA of your teacher, can you? You only share the DNA of your father. Amen. Amen. God is restoring fatherhood to his body. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 6. struggle to share the DNA of a father is a natural phenomenon. It flows through you. You are not struggling with it. Therefore, for every true son and daughter of this house, I decree the free flow of the spiritual DNA of your father. Amen.
My son, you can't love him the way I love him and not see what I see. You can't love him the way I love him and not see what I see. You can't be sold out to him as I'm sold out to him and not enjoy what I enjoy. It's no respecter of person. It's no respecter of person. That's the ultimate in maximizing a prophetic office that may be sent to you. That may be sent to you. Is anyone say bring for me? It's not a prophet, it's just a clown. No. Prophets give to people. Yes, sir. Please reposition this year because the year is over pregnant in your favor. Yes. The year is over pregnant in your favor. Yes. He said, you are of your father. So everybody's of his father. Like the guest like. He was telling those fellows, he said, you are of your father, the devil. And the will of your father, you will do. No way. Spiritually, you are a bona fide partaker of every grace that is obtainable in your father. You are absolutely, absolutely. And I can't tell you, how much of that I've partaken of in my life. Awesome. 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 He said, others have labored and you have entered into their labor. Come on, I tell you something. That, that, that's the mystery of sharing the DNA of any spiritual agent sent to you. He said, I sent you to reap that we are on. Ye bestowed no labor. Other men, and ye are entered into their labors. So I entered into the labors of many people. I just entered into it. I just entered into it. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, whatever is required, to establish your place in the realm of breaking limits, not just for this year, in the realm of breaking limits, receive that now in the name of God. Thank you, Father. He said to me, Behold, I've touched your tongue with a coal of fire. And from henceforth, as you say it, you say it. Now watch. No one among us shall be left behind. Before the first quarter is out, God has filled your mouth with laughter. Before the first quarter is out, God has filled your mouth with laughter. I was ministering at a seminar many years ago. And I said, I finished praying for those who are looking for a job. And as they turn back, going to their place, someone called one of them. Excuse me, what's your profession? Say, I can't tell. They Zoom on Monday. On the spot. On the spot. There are many people here that will hear news today, Saturday. <laughs> the siege over your career is lifted. The siege over your family is lifted. In the name of Jesus Christ. No one returns back home this morning with any trace of sickness or disease on his body. Therefore, I curse from the roots kind of sickness and disease, terminal or temporal, whatever they may be like, 
every pain, every ache, every planting of the devil tormenting anyone tonight in any part of your body, you are loose to the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everything in me has grace. I release upon your life this morning. You never beg forever. You never go hungry forever. You never withdraw your children from school forever. You never have to sell your houses and become tenant. Nothing dies in your hand anymore. You belong to a family where everything works. If you will care to maintain the love of God in your heart from today, for we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. We know that all things, all things work together for good to them that love God. From today, all things will keep working together for your good. Nothing enhances our redemptive dignity like covenant mentality. This is what God has promised. What must I do to assess it? There is no provision of the kingdom without conditions to meet. As free as salvation is, you can't be saved except you repent. If you are too big to repent, you are too big to be saved. Many are in church, they are not saved because they are too big to repent. They just enjoy the company of people and then I'm a winner, you're a winner, so let's go and win. Because they are too big to repent, they are too big to be saved. I got baptized in water as a speaker in a conference. I never knew the importance of water baptism. I was baptized as a baby. So I thought that was enough. But a preacher, one of the people came up and taught on it. My eyes got open. I followed them to the water side. They thought I came to baptize them. Sir, you are too big to obey. You are too big to go up. Please understand this. There are many people in this church today that may not see any need to be baptized in water. You miss heaven straight. You miss it straight. He said, when you believe and you are baptized, you'll be saved. If you don't, you'll be condemned. So what is it? I was a speaker when I went to baptize. Not a member. I was a speaker in the conference. When they baptized me in water and I saw a new light. Please understand. This is the way to keep going. My prayer today is that nobody without your membership of this family. <laughs> and nobody will ever ask you again, where is your God? <laughs> Stand to your feet, everybody. Give the Lord the biggest hand of praise. Amen. Believe in the Lord your God, you shall be established. And believe also his prophets, and whatever they say upon your life will come to pass. You prosper. You go forward by the ministry of your prophets. You prosper. You go forward. So all the activities of the gods, the gods of Egypt around your life, they are over finally today. Yeah. It's done. Yeah. 
is done. Now, I want to enter into that prophetic shower that have come. You just enter into it. Whichever of those things, address or situation, enter into I believe you, God, and I believe your prophet. This matter is over today. Go ahead and do that. Go ahead and do that. Enter into this prophetic realm that we have come into. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Every prophetic word you have received and believed, you are empowered to experience. The good news is, by the time this fasting season ends, God has turned you into another man. Your thought pattern will change. The words of your mouth will change. Your steps of action will be new. Amen. And your manifestations will be real. Amen. Your manifestations will be real. Amen. And your manifestation will be real. Amen. Put your right hand on your chest. Every planting of the devil, every tree my father has not planted, I command them rooted out of your life now. Every evil 
seed. That they minimum of, of some while you slept. I command them rooted out. Whatever is a need in your life that is covered by this liberation mandate is delivered for a testimony in your life right now. <laughs> Many barren have become fruitful. Many people have escaped every from marital spell. Yeah. Therefore, it is now your turn. Yeah. Your miracle job is delivered. Yeah. Your breakthrough is confirmed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Grace to love him the way I do is imparted on your life. Grace to be sold out to him so you can also stand out in life is imparted upon your life. Grace to become and remain a kingdom stakeholder is released upon your life right now. You can't be serving God and be serving sickness at the same time. He said, every tree that bears fruit, I will keep fit. So from today, remain physically fit. <laughs> remain spiritually fit. <laughs> remain emotionally fit. <laughs> remain mentally fit. <laughs> remain socially fit. <laughs> remain financially fit. <laughs> In the name of Jesus. We are going to be celebrating the faithfulness of our God in high praise. Please connect. Connect with it right now. Connect with these high praise sessions right now. Connect with it from the depth of your heart. As you are praising him, the signs are erupting. The words of this, you have received, they are manifesting. He said, who is like unto thee, O God? Who is like thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. Fearful impresses doing wonders. We were praising God someday, and someone had a withered hand, and a, a, you know, an invisible guest came to him and stretched in his hand. He can't find anybody. But well, his hand was restored. It was an industrial accident. He was working for Nepal. He fell down from the pole or something, and his hand got withered. Jesus set him free in the midst of praise. Somebody had a domestic fire accident, and uh, this invisible guy, same service, walked up to him and said, stand up and embrace me. And all the effect of the fire disappeared. Watch out for it. Let's celebrate him, everybody. All over the world today. Every word spoken in your direction is confirmed upon your life. Come on now. Peace I never see your type. This kind God. Blessed be your Already. Jesus has answered my prayers. He has said, Be Jesus has answered my prayers. He has said, Be already. Let who has lost no need to worry for you. Oh, he has answered my prayers. 
my prayers. He has answered my prayers. Jesus has answered my prayers. He has sent me all that. Jesus has answered my prayers. He has sent us already. Jesus has answered my prayers. He has sent us already. Thank you, Lord. He has answered. He has answered. He has answered me already. He has answered my prayers. He has sent me already. Jesus has given me the victory. I shout hallelujah. Hey. I've done it over new day. I've done it over new day for me. It's a done it over new day. I've done it over new day in my life. It's a done it over new day. I have the key in my hand. Hey. I say it has come. It's a done it over new day. I say it has come. It's a dawning of a new day, a dawning of a new day for me. He has given me the victory, it's a dawning of a new day. A dawning of a new day, a dawning of a new day. A dawning of a new day in your family, this I know. I don't need another new day. I don't need another new day. Hallelujah. 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 It's a sound of victory. Hallelujah. 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 Let the sun. Hallelujah! We sing Hallelujah to Him. Let the sound of breaking limits now. Let the sound of breaking limits be this time. Hallelujah! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah! Let's shout! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let the sound of breaking limits now. Let the sound of breaking limits be this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come and wave your hands to the Lord. Let the sound of breaking limits be this. Hallelujah. 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 It's the sound of victory. Hallelujah. We sing hallelujah to you, Lord. The sound of breaking limits. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. You are the lion of tribe of Judah. We exalt your name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let the sound of no limit. Of no limit. Ale, 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 ale,